The story that we brought you earlier this week, Barack Obama fired Gerald Wolpin. He is the Inspector General of the Corporation and National Community Service. That is the federal agency responsible for distributing money to organizations like AmeriCorps and places like Acorn. But Walton was investigating the alleged misuse of the federal funds by Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson, former NBA star and Obama friend and supporter. Well, what happened? You're supposed to fire an inspector general with a 30-day notification. It's required by law. And you're supposed to say exactly what you're firing for. Well, responding to the critics like me, last night the White House released a statement explaining that Walpin was confused and disoriented, and they questioned his capacity to serve. With me now, fired Inspector General Gerald Walpin. He is speaking out about the letter from the White House uh, for the first time. Gerald, how are you, sir? Fine. Good seeing you again. Good to see you. Um, gee, that's not too veiled uh, of a uh, message that you're... You're maybe a little too old for the job, Gerald. You might be a little senile. Well, I uh, suggest to you that it's really unfortunate when uh, the government suggests that somebody is too old for public service. Well, I mean, the, uh, the only the people that are, are doing it are just the people that, for instance, uh, Robert Byrd is 91, uh, Senator Ted Kennedy is 77. How old are you? I will be 78 in September. Oh, so you're 77. You're the same age as, uh, as uh, Ted Kennedy. Speaker Pelosi is 69, uh, Representative Dingell is 82, uh, Senator Specter is 79, Charlie Rangel is older than you are. A little bit. Mm -hmm. John Murtha is 77 today, today's his birthday. So, well, I, but you're, you're too old. Um, there, is, uh, there were a couple of things that he said, that the board saw you in a meeting um, and you were disoriented and confused and all disheveled. Can you tell me about that? Oh, I was at a meeting making a presentation telling the board that uh, uh, they had the responsibility to act independently also to oversee what the corporation was doing and shouldn't just follow blindly whatever the corporation said it was doing. And, and um, uh, they uh, refused to listen to me. Then I went on to the two reports we had issued. At least I tried to go on to them. I did one of them and they, and they were constantly peppering me with questions. Uh, I, I think for them to say uh, that I was disoriented is an amazing, amazing well, slinging of mud. Here's the, here's, here's the question that I have. If you were disoriented, how, how long ago was that? You know? That was, in, um, that was May, May 20th, I think. Okay. Um, so it was back in May. Didn't they ask you two days before they fired you to go to La Be In fact, didn't ask you, begged you to go to San Francisco to give a speech, right? That's correct, to about 2,000 of their staff and, and grantees. I mean, th this is crazy to suggest that um, I am not uh, able to speak for myself, I'm disoriented. I'll leave it to the American public and your listeners, for example, who have watched me speak here, uh, the reporters who have interviewed me. Uh, I don't think there's a single one that, know, uh, that suggests that that is correct. I am, I am truly sorry that a man has gone through uh, what you've gone through your whole life, being a good citizen, just doing your thing, volunteer to serve your country, you're at, you, the age that you're at, and now this country, this president, is trying to throw you under the bus and make, make you, put you in a position to where you have to defend your, your sanity. Well, if I didn't defend against these attacks, I don't think I could live with myself. I don't think I can look myself in the mirror. How's your wife? I did what, what was correct. How's your wife? My wife is very supportive. Uh, she thought I was correct in not resigning. My wife would be so unbelievably angry, she would be beside herself right now. She would also say, go get them. But she would be, she'd be more offended at this than I am. I think my wife is angry too, but she controls her anger. And I have three wonderful children. Uh, they're very supportive. Uh, I, I will continue to do what is right. I don't know where to lead, uh, but I'm not going to swallow my principles and drown them out. Gresh, can we, uh, can we bump the hot list today? Yes. I'd like to bump the, uh, we're going to have to take a break and then come back because I want to talk to you a little bit more about the charges. And then uh, we found the test, the, the government test <laughs> that, uh, you know, for if anybody is confused and disoriented, it is the mini mental state examination. This is the, this is the test that if, if Grandpa just is taking the tractor out and going through the wall of Denny's,
which my grandfather did, you take them to the hospital and they give them this test. And uh, we'll, we'll see if the Inspector General has lost his marbles next. <laughs>